You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live for First Class Sounds, you know who it is, DJ Scream. Big Bank is here, baby. Jade is here. The Sad Boys is up in here. Shy Jones and Duct Tape Dave. It is time it. for Big Facts Friday. What the hell going on, everybody? Nothing much. What's up, big homie? Oh, made it to another Friday. What's up, big homie? Made it oh to another God. Friday. Thank God. What's the yeah. word for the day? Gratitude. Gratitude. <laughs> gratitude. Yes, you got to have gratitude. You got to have grateful. You got to be grateful. Man, come on with all that shit, man. Man, you know I'm You got to be grateful. You're at work, bro. Turn that shit off. We are grateful that Dave's phone is ringing. Right. We are grateful. Yeah, Yeah, I'm grateful. We are grateful. It could not be ringing. Sad, boy. Sad. You ain't grateful for what you got. You got to be grateful. I say you got to be grateful for what you got. You got to be grateful you got to be grateful what you got you going to start hating on other niggas. Or not even appreciate, or just worried about on yourself. shit that you don't got. Yeah, yeah if you ain't great, you already hating on yourself. Hating on yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Now, Steve Harvey said, man, think about when them days, like some people didn't have no money, mm-hmm. then they might have got to having like 25 bands and they got the 50, but they sl- it's getting better for them. They might be at 100,000 or some shit, but at each level, they get frustrated and mad because they're not a millionaire. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But shit, that 50 or that 75. But they still have more than what they used to have. That's why they should be grateful. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, you got to be grateful for You can make up excuses for shit to be grateful for all day. Like, you're grateful to be alive. You're grateful to be healthy. You can walk. Some people can't walk. You can see. You can so I'm glad I got all my fingers and toes. Everybody's here. All your people is alive. We happy. You got to be grateful. And I feel mm-hmm. like when you are grateful, that plants the seed for more blessings. And I really think Definitely. that them millionaires done figure that shit out. Yeah. That's one of the big reasons why them blessings keep coming because it ain't no like, uh, it ain't no static with the universe of God or whatever everybody believes in. It's like God looking down, like smiling, like you're grateful for what you've been given. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But don't let me run my mouth what y'all think. I think, no. I think you're all the way right, but I also think, going back to what you said about the millionaires being grateful, I think it's also a situation where a lot of the shit that they're ungrateful for is shit the money can't change if that makes sense i mean not not ungrateful but a lot of shit that they have they're grateful for the money and they're grateful for the it's position that, that they're in for. yeah Lots you know what i'm saying they and they're grateful the for the position mm-hmm. that they're in and all of that but a lot of the shit that they truly desire mm-hmm. or truly wish to make a difference in has nothing to do with money like true friendships true love true Lord's it could be some health shit, shit, anything, some, health shit, too. some yeah. shit that money can't buy. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I think whatever you put out, you're going to get back, right? So if you're grateful for what you have, the universe going to give you something back in return. You know what I'm saying? Universal so law. Just- yeah, and vice versa. If you're not grateful for the shit that you already have, the universe is going to feel like you don't deserve more. Yeah. You're going to lose it all. So that means no matter what you got, million dollars, ten dollars, whatever it is, you ain't grateful for it. You can exactly. Just, as we can get to you, take, take it, away. it away. We love yeah. money and we want to get money, but it's. I know some. I always say I know some unhappy rich people would be hitting my phone. They not happy. What about goddamn? If you look at it like, what's the difference between being grateful and what I'm trying to say? Like, you just aspire to have it all. Like what? Like grateful you know, and ambitious. Thin, yes, thin, ambitious. yeah, grateful and ambitious. It's, mm-hmm. it's a thin line between that. You should shit be too. ambitious. Don't get seen ungrateful because you won't mo. Don't get content. Yeah, you, you got a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, you, yeah, you should. That's never a good get point. Huh? You should never get content. I don't believe in being content as it meaning as in whatever you got. I'm good and I ain't gotta do shit else. Yeah, that's never. what I'm saying. You know yeah, I mean? Don't get content. But I think I think the difference between being ungrateful and being ambitious is that. When you're ungrateful, you have malicious complaints. And when you're ambitious, you are basically telling the universe that I'm going to work hard so that I can get to a higher level and I can get more. But like, if you're ungrateful, then you're like, why the fuck I ain't got this? Instead Mm -hmm. of saying, I'm about to work harder. I appreciate what I have and I'm going to get more and I'm going to get this type shit. I'm still thankful for, man, I'm thankful for every dollar, everything, every breath I take I'm thankful and grateful for and I tell God every morning mm-hmm. when I wake up that, yeah me too you know what I'm saying before I go to sleep I'm just like I'm happy how my life turned out mm-hmm. Facts. you always say some real shit you, you want to go to the new levels yeah. 
but not if you got to lose something that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's some real shit yeah, that bank like, always say. Yeah, I ain't that. You need to write that in the Bible. Yeah, I'm straight. <laughs> Somebody write it in there for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful. I don't really know how to write like that. <laughs> Get your Y'all stupid ass off me. I know what it say with Jingle. <laughs> they probably can't read my shit either. Now I come <laughs> yeah. to think of it. Yeah. All my shit look like a signature. <laughs> I know what it's. I know what they yeah. should say though. Yeah. No boy, Doctor Bank. I think with gratitude, that's something that you appreciate something like in the moment. But like when you ambitious, you looking towards the future. Mm. Already, you know. Yeah. That's a fact. Oh yeah, nah. You gotta live, goddamn. Be happy that nigga. You know, if you where you at now, mm-hmm. and you know where you was at, mm-hmm. even yesterday, you know where you was at yesterday. You know where you were ten years ago, twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. So that shit, nigga, is a. If you don't got them evolved since then, any kind of progress, yeah, any type of progress. Now, if you don't went backwards, yeah, then you know you, you need to, out, yeah. You know, like, but even if you don't went backwards with when it got something to do with money, bro, you still gotta be grateful because some niggas done been like niggas who been locked up, get out of jail, and may not got them become the biggest billion. Now, nigga might be grateful that I'm out and got a job and I'm regular. Mm-hmm. Right? You know and I can saying? move on my own time like, without good, somebody like, telling that, me what to that do. That could mean the world to a nigga. Like, I'm out here with my kids now. Ooh, I'm different. Mm-hmm. I ain't got to goddamn go be no producer, no rapper, no podcast, nigga, no entertainment. And then I'm grateful to have my freedom to be able to be out here. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it, it, it different levels to that shit, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. You got to be grateful for the L's and the situations, too. I don't I don't see people say, like, maybe going to jail say their life. It was going shit, too fast. Say that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you, you, it might be. I don't know about the young nigga yet. The young, right? But it might uh-huh. seem crazy, but so you got to be grateful for the uh, trials, the tribulations, and all that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Because it might have saved you for some worse shit. Right. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Or you really just simply have to go through trials and tribulations to learn. Like you got to fuck up sometimes just to let know what not to do. Mm-hmm. That's what anything yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. I just experience think. is the best teacher. Mm-hmm. You got to mm-hmm. teach yourself. And you should be grateful go for through that. it. Yeah. Because you can learn a way harder way. Right. And I think that instead of people seeing them as setbacks, they should see them as lessons. Like it, like when he said, if you go through being broke, like sometimes you just need to take a step back, re, uh, reassess, and regroup. And you may need to go another route of what you've been doing. What made niggas feel like they broke is comparing themselves. For yeah. sure. Thief is the comparison right. of joy. Like some people, you compare yourself to the mm-hmm. next nigga, so here, yeah, you broke. Yeah. In comparison mm-hmm. to this nigga, yeah, if you mm-hmm. looking at goddamn these niggas who getting got little baby, yeah, I hate to keep uh, you. We always yeah, use him as the example, but you like, get too much money for you. Yeah. Talking about that's your whole bank, bro. He just got. Yeah. You don't shit. even you don't even do enough to be able to. Yeah, so you can't compare. Yeah, yeah, like, you broke, but is you broken than you used to be? <laughs> to be. Yeah, right. Yeah, but even if you look when at you that, fucked up. Yeah. Right. Even if you look at that biggest name or brand, trust me, you got something that they ain't got. Yeah, you got something Facts. that they ain't got. Yeah, that they probably won't. That you in should every be situation. appreciative that's how of. That shit goes. Like, like, that's they got a platform for real. They just got a platform bigger than yours for real. At the end of the day, you don't know what they. You don't know what they missing or lacking. Mm-hmm. You don't know. Or what they had to do. Oh, here she go. Nah, she you, nah you just don't know what a nigga <laughs> sacrifice for that shit. Bro. Hell Sign yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, is you ready to sign up for the next nigga life? Or mm-hmm. you gonna live your life? Oh, what I'll right. come with it? Yeah, yeah. yeah what come with these people? You don't even you know, know what I'll come with this money. This going. type of money, you get a certain type of money. You don't know what I'll come with that kind of money. Mm. Is you ready for that? Mm. And you walk in them shoes? I think when you, when you ready for it, that's when you get. Period. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Like those are proven facts. Yeah, God ain't gonna just get. He'll get that shit. Like, Cause he know you gonna fuck it up. Not you even that. You might fuck, fuck around. Saying that one, like this, my real blessing. Yeah, sometimes we don't have the will to be able to goddamn do what we need to do out of motherfucker. Cause we God gave us shit to what you know what I'm saying. Hell of your business, but we are grateful for Jay's phone ringing. Right, very grateful. Right. Right. Yeah. Grateful for Jay's phone ringing. Y'all bullshitting. That's a play. Very <laughs> <laughs> be glad I love y'all because we have to goddamn pause this motherfucker. But yeah, yeah. That we can hit the. We 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 saying we can pause something, right? <laughs> right. You know what I'm that's the spirit. We're grateful <laughs> that <laughs> we're grateful. We Go grateful. ahead, Pastor. I'm grateful for you guys. Like, oh, we grateful for you too, Sugar Bud. Nah, <laughs> Sugar Bud. <laughs> 
Alright, what are we doing? What you say the shit was you said about sexual I said assault. sexual market value. So <laughs> like <market> um <laughs> What about a person, like, aside from just their physical appearance, like, so that could be, like, if you a player, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got what you got going on, um, does, does that increase or decrease your sexual market value? Like, if I'm trying to date a girl and she already got two kids, I'm like, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you kicking at Kevin Samuels. Yeah. Yeah. You saying what now? So, like. You saying, like, what type of bitch should you think sexual? You think sexual? You talking about market value. Exactly. You ain't got to say sexual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it, so, if a woman gets some kids, or two kids, or three kids. Because they always it, say girls with kids have good stuff. Huh? That is. That ain't about the whole relationship. No, I'm saying. Nah, that's what you're talking about. You're talking about the market yeah. value. He said sex. Oh, he's the market about. value of a person if they're yeah. on the market and they're single. If a yeah. woman has kids, a man has kids, whatever, however you look at it. Yeah. Are they less valuable? But niggas, if a woman had hold on, if a woman got a job or don't have a job right. or got too many bodies right. on them, exactly. that type of shit, like what makes a person more valuable or less valuable, valuable. on the market? On what, it depends on what's valuable. The total to you. package, yeah. It depends on what's valuable to you, right? Because mm. a nigga can get some shit that been all the way ran through through the dumpster, <laughs> and it could be that that, that prize, his diamond in the rough. It could be yeah. his diamond. You can't his say prize. that though. Because yeah. you don't know where she going to be when he get her. Now, to each his own. Yeah. But you don't know where the nigga going to see in this person. But to the but I do know for a yeah, fact nah, that though. niggas yes, with kids nah. get Bro, off the hook way easier than women with kids. Yeah, I, get what I get what you're saying. That's, that's, that's the way you think, though. Right, but look, it, either way, it's like sometimes like you got kids, right? Yeah. So a certain type of shit, you, you, you might see something in the young lady like, that ain't it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tell me something like, that ain't it. You don't want she, You already see it in her, but he can't see it in her. You what? know what I'm saying? What? Like she could be a she could be a fuck nigga. Like she could she could be a hoe, for example. Like, but she a hoe. She gonna she gonna break your heart. You know what I'm saying? But like, it was it was. But hoes are hoes. Not necessarily it break your Just it, said she could be a sewer. It, she but could be to, to somebody else though. Listen, but she could be That's another nigga. Fact. He might like that, bro. Some niggas like certain shit. But yeah, in what in what situation? Other facts. Hold on. You can't what? say you saying <laughs> you don't. I'm playing. I'm playing devil's advocate. Okay. In what situation do you want? The Honda Accord with ninety thousand miles Thank on you. it before the Honda Accord with twenty thousand. See, these niggas were these niggas. I ain't saying that's how I think. What if I'm a nigga? You talking about the Honda Accord? These niggas was hitting Melissa Ford. No, in we, that Honda Accord, bro. We ain't talking about hitting. No, we talking about this is your girl. This is my woman. Right. Niggas was wife for her but, too. But, 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 but what I'm saying is, you never know what somebody else can find for that person. I'm saying you might not be that person. Right. He might not be that person. <clears throat> But Definitely. what if I meet this bitch and feel like I'm this, I'm fucked that. This is what we here. No, I agree. Okay. We see it every day. Yeah, that's okay. We see it every day. That's okay. The point is But in general that. popular opinion, right. again, in what case, same Honda Accord, do you want the 20,000, 30,000 mile Honda Accord but, right. before? Hold up. Uh, but what he's saying, though. I want to be low-key. What he's saying with the, with the trash can dumpster <laughs> shit, I've I'm seen like, some. Well, low-key. Like some real tramp slut slores uh -huh. fucking get, get married re marginalized. Yes. Yes. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't put that girl in no bag. Yeah, no yeah you can't I'm put her in a sure. box because she done got re marginalized and she done turned into some Ain't different no shit. can get deleted. No, it can't. No. no. That's the Hell no. Y'all yeah, on this kid get deleted. No. That's a stretch. No. Okay. no. Yeah. I'm saying for, like, I'm only saying that's a, that's that That's a stretch for Armstrong. Example, if, if a girl is. From another state, and she moved to another place, and nobody knows her. You Deep nobody in her else. core, she know. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Girl, she know. That's in her system. Yeah, she do. She know. Saying, but you can, she can find a nigga. She can find a nigga that'll make that'll erase that shit. Yeah, yeah. right. Like, but, but look at that. Yeah. Don't care yeah, about only, her. Only, only because she's from somewhere. Yeah, like if she never done a hit. First of all, only because she know. You know she know. She gonna be one of the one who all over there. She was <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Too many people in there. Exactly. Too many people in there. Bitch, you don't never want to put your face on front street. Right. right. Damn. Right. Most niggas only care about if the girl fucked any of his homeboys. So if she from somewhere yeah. else and nobody in her city know this girl, they gonna feel like they got them one. She moved to Cali. And she meet a Cali nigga. And the Cali nigga say, baby, let's go to Atlanta. Oh no, I don't want to go. I don't like Atlanta. I don't like Atlanta. Like Atlanta. <laughs> they not going to Atlanta. Like Atlanta. But look, <laughs> who all over there? <laughs> who all over there? <laughs> and then if you not, and then by this time, if you with a girl, and they come and say like, "Oh, back when she was back here, she was a hoe." You're not about to listen to no nigga while you. I'm in, all about. Love. And ain't no nigga gonna come into a nigga he don't know and say your bitch was a hoe. Ain't nobody trying to. What I'm saying is, why she faking it? Right. 
I, she's supposed to step into nigga, whatever she like, is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's supposed to step into saying, whatever man, she what, is. I, I'm, well, y'all get missing what I'm saying. I'm saying, not a bitch who finna act like she not a hoe. Yeah, right. that's different. I'm saying, like, I found this hoe and I love this hoe, man. Right. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know a lot of hoes that were honest about their situations to their present and current niggas like, and came me out me better. About, I know. Yeah, right. This what I like. I like it because they say you that. Mm. Right. That's different. But look, what if you got some niggas like that, though? That's, that's, that's a what challenge. The truth will set you free. I like that. The truth will set you free. That's the nigga, if a, if a nigga, if a nigga, if a nigga, if a nigga, if a nigga tell y'all he ain't shit. Right. I ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? I when you saying. with me, I might make you feel it, but I ain't shit. Yes. Y'all gonna appreciate it because you're like, well, I ain't gotta figure it out. Yeah, you right. told me. Yeah, right? That is true. I be saying y'all. You already so, told you ain't so shit. The point is so you make your own choice. No, I'm not saying that there's nobody out there for everybody. But you ain't got to go nah, be in the blind they, about nah, this what shit. what they feeling like, what the women feel like, you know what I'm saying? They feel like, he saying he ain't shit, but I'm a changer. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. That's so, what they saying. Like, well, a nigga tell you straight up, like, some shit baby, I ain't shit. Like, I'm some bullshit. From time to time, I'm going to be done hurt your feelings. I know I'm going to be fucked up. Like, because I'm some bullshit. Right. You acting like, okay, but I'm going to change it in your mind. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with the nigga. Because <laughs> if that's the case, you ain't get upset. But these hoes, you tell them you ain't shit. She understand because I ain't shit either. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah. Big facts. All right. Oh, yeah. She man. understands. So you trying to get a, a girl trying to understand that she ain't shit. She's going to always feel like she can change. You get a bitch right. who feel like we ain't shit. Right. All right. Mm. Together. But look, look, if you're dating, right? If I'm dating and I'm talking about. But we're going to keep a look. Uh, how you want to play it this year? You want to be respectful? Yeah. How yeah. you want to play it next year? How you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit can go like that with yeah. some people, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like when, you, when, when you're dealing with two ancient people, you got to take that shit day by day. Like you can do it. Ain't no expectation. my fault. Nothing. Yeah, like you just got to figure the shit out, like one at a time. Like, mm. yeah. Mm. Nah, but I get what you're saying. you saying, like, basically. Is it okay to feel like you too good for a bitch? Basically. Facts. That's what I'm trying to say. Because I'm trying to say, if you dating two girls, right? And you fuck with both of them. They're heavy, right? But one of them fuck more niggas. Or she got kids. You are gonna be like... I fuck with both y'all, but no, you kick it. You kick it to Kevin Samuels. An unpopular opinion. He be uh, kicking some real shit. Sometimes. Yeah, it's a real shit. That's just it. Like he, he, he dead on with some of it. I ain't saying, saying all you, of it. What if you had kids though? What you mean? If you yeah, am I taking care of my kids? Yeah. Do you gotta take care of them? No. If I'm taking care of them, then that, that if I had to come in and provide for you and your kids, then that's something different, right? Oh yeah, that's a hell of a role right now. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Some nigga want kids. Some nigga want kids though. But, nah, but I'm saying if you're if you're with me and I got kids, like I'm not expecting. I'm not like saying like, okay, this is your job. This is what you have to do. But it is. But if you're with me, then how you not going? If you're with me, he you got to be he, with he my said, kids. So then we asking. He asking is is it okay to have to value yourself higher than that? Right. Basically. Y'all really listen that sometimes again. you still. So if that's the case, why fuck with a bitch with kids? But I'm saying you, exactly. have, oh, you can. You can choose. Oh, you can. Can. If I'm if I'm choosing to fuck with you with kids, it's certain shit. Well, I'm not saying you can't be like this, but it's like I'm trying to fuck with you kids. You're like, well, honey, I don't even want to have sex no more until I get married. I'm like, damn, you got three kids already. So like, you know <laughs> 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 get married. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh, you, oh, you want to be a J? Yeah, like right. you got me. That's why like everybody been fucking the neighborhood. She get you want to cuff your ass. Uh, be celibate. Fuck out of here. She can decide to be celibate. Beat on. Beat it. Decide to be celibate. Remove your beat it. That ain't gonna. Nah, but 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 the thing about it is, you can't try to force nothing. Like we already preach, man. Hey, that ain't for you. Yeah. But yeah. you got some niggas out who ready to be stepdad a lot. Mm -hmm. But just hey, let me buy them kids some shit. <laughs> but just because you get with somebody with a kid, oh, you got some niggas. Yeah, no, no, just because daddy. you get a uh, uh, get with somebody with kids don't necessarily mean you got to play stepdad. Yes, they dad mean. could be too. How the fuck you don't matter what you mean? They dad could be married and shit. Hold on. Their dad could be very much so in their life it and taking care. It don't matter if I'm finna be if I'm finna fuck with this lady and I'm finna be in the house with this lady. This is, with this is you have to say you have to fuck with them, but I'm saying you don't have the obligation. When he was saying you have an obligation, but it's just, it's how the hell you don't? You do. If you date somebody with a child and their dad is present, if you're a female and you make a nigga feel my, like he's not obligated not to do that. both for you and hold your children, then you a shit ass female. That's not true. What I'm saying is. As somebody with the with the child, okay. right? Me and my daughter, dad are not together. He does 
what he needs to do for my daughter, right? right. If I date somebody, this we all speaking hypothetically. If I'm dating it's somebody, about marriage, and shit, right? Not dating. But even if I get married to somebody and her dad is still paying for what he needs to pay for for this child, meaning like school fees or whatever. That man isn't technically obligated. How the yes, fuck he is he not? And I'm y'all are in a union together. To he said for his, the child's school fees, because at that point you're cutting out the dad. How? The how? Dad. How not? And y'all are in what a household. What are you talking about? It, just y'all because I'm in a household. That's a matter of an opinion, though. If yeah, I'm that is a matter of an opinion. opinion. That's what if I think. I'm that's a matter of opinion, household. but it depends on what type of nigga you fucking with. Because you fucking with a nigga that's whatever comes with you comes with you. Exactly. Exactly. But if why? But if you fucking with a nigga, dad or dad or not, like me and the daddy can talk about what we doing with the little girl. Like I'm not saying pick and choose but i'm saying is we can't cut out the ones that are fathers that's doing for their child no just fact. because i'm married no, ain't nobody ch- that's no like fact. if i no would, if i was to marry scream right i marry scream and i got a child with dave and dave is doing everything he needs to do for my child just because we married that you don't mean like, that he's take your daddy. yeah that yeah. don't mean that he don't pay oh, no of he course you don't i'm not even going for it i'm not even going for it i'm not even going for it i guess i misunderstood because you were saying Me. some shit like, like fucking, like if you fucking with the nigga, he has the option to do or not. I'm saying to he's do not my right. point. Like, I think he's not obligated. Like that. My my word was obligated. He isn't obligated. Like, she's saying when like she's saying like she's saying father. like she basically saying like it, it, it's gonna happen naturally, but. That ain't really obvious. your job. That's not yeah, a requirement. That's, Primarily, that's it's not your job. That's what you're saying. But yeah, you're saying, was, like, you can't, I ain't finna come to you like, if she already got a dad, like, hey, this come with me and my baby. Like, yeah. shit. No, you if you do whatever you do, that's cool. And all mm-hmm. this other shit. Like, but her daddy actually pay her school fees. But, just because we together don't mean that you gotta step in and take care and pay all this other but shit. You, that's you, what you I'm saying. She's saying, like, you don't take his responsibility. Exactly. Because you my nigga, you don't take his responsibility. Exactly. Right. That's what I'm saying. To the point of him saying, I don't agree. No, that makes sense. Who? No, I'm it, saying to the point. If my bitch had a baby daddy and he talking about, she talking about she been to be with a nigga, be married, and he's already my kid. This nigga now he talking about, we got a routine. No, and I pick my kids up in school. Now he got to pick my kids. No, no that's, that's something different. That's, that's, that's something different. different. That's, that's not what we're yeah, talking about. Talking about. That ain't what we're talking so about. When you're dating somebody and they come with kids, now you got to come in and take care of their kids. And you're I'm just saying, you can date somebody with kids and they can still have. I don't know. Maybe I don't understand what y'all saying because that don't make sense. I think the proper word is if you dating if you dating somebody or marry somebody and got kids to some capacity you got to deal with them. But you ain't got to necessarily take care of them. Exactly. Depending on the situation. What about what about depending on the situation? Then that's different. Then you have to be obligated to be a father. Yeah, yeah. That is different. But okay. But can I ask a question? Because I'm still completely and totally confused. Man, because I don't understand what's going on. Because like. If there's not a father present, okay, yeah, then you know what I'm saying that's different or whatever. But just me as a person, like if you're fucking with me, like you're fucking with everything that comes with Thank me. That's dealing. true. Like, dealing. Dealing. That's dealing. Dealing. That doesn't that's mean. Dealing. That means yeah, that doesn't mean, house, mean house, yeah in the household some things yeah. gonna happen okay. but dealing yeah. is different yeah. than taking yeah. care of yeah. taking care of means I have to take care of everything I, yeah. Yeah. if you got I'm another nigga that got money yeah that's, that's what putting I'm money into the kid. Then that's different. There's somebody still there that can help financially with the that's kid. What I'm I feel you're on dealing with. You dealing, can't have yes, a kid I in the house and be like, I ain't fuck that nigga. No, so I could you know. be with, could you up. could you be with a girl who had a baby daddy? Like, if the father was present, I think I I mean absent, I think I probably could. If the father like, I could probably can't do that. Okay, we already t- we talked about yeah, that. No, okay. I, can't I couldn't do that. Like, you got a baby daddy. I this nigga I feel like I feel like you could always take your baby daddy. thank you. I said this again on a popular opinion. Like what you saying? Like, like. <laughs> I got a I got a dude, but my baby like it's an understanding. Yeah. I probably couldn't be with a female who no. got a baby daddy. Because that line is all this nine times out of ten gonna huh, get blurred. That's the marketplace value. That's wait, the marketplace wait, 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 value. Wait, wait, now, the, now the, if the parent was, was absent right. or some shit, then that's different. Like, uh-huh. yeah, okay, cool. This I take what come with it. Yeah, but now I gotta goddamn negotiate with this nigga. Yeah, about his baby. Thank you. Because right. I know how it would be about mine. Right. Kanye. <laughs> right. <laughs> I ain't trying you to. You know what I'm saying? Like, spray well, you, nigga. I'm, I'm not trying to come in, no in a relationship with her, and then I be have to. Playing my baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I'm <laughs> them home kid. I'm just going to get the money to her. You, whatever she decides she want to do with her, the money for her kid, that's it. I ain't. The, the dad, I already do that. You see what I'm saying? I, I ain't even, finna be I'm like, like in a relationship. I can't get. I'm saying if I what was if, in what a what relationship, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if yeah. he don't move on? Who? If who don't move baby on? Baby, daddy per se is like, one of them. I don't move on, nigga. Left him for dead. Yeah. I can. 
Yeah, I can. I, yeah, yeah. You yeah. said left. Cause you don't move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got little. Yeah, yeah. You don't move right. on. You don't go. You don't move. You don't move on. Right. 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 But it's very I rare. Like, I ain't saying we like kumbaya. It's like you dream. It's all over rare. What you mean? You can't come back. It's cool? very rare Could you be that cool with the baby daddy though? Who? The baby like, daddy's move on. Well, we got to talk yeah. about though. Get, I'm saying rare. what you, uh, you got to co-parent at some point. I'm saying what we got to talk about. What, nah, what I got to talk about? What you and the baby daddy got to talk about? Yeah. I'm if you got a household with his baby mama and you're dealing with his kids, then there's a discussion that needs to be had. That's what I'm saying. Cool. I, we going to meet. That. We I we gonna it. meet. We okay. I yeah, agree. We I gonna agree meet, but yeah. I ain't I ain't getting got to call me every day. No, 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 no he ain't got no reason to call me. What my kids doing, bro? No, 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 no. What my kids doing? What y'all over there doing? What my kids doing? Kick it with bro. Hey, put him on the phone real quick. See, last night I thought Mama was smothering, but it was just laying on top of her. Nah, 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 yeah. Now we all agree on that one. I'm gonna talk yeah, about it. Yeah, she did what? You guys think too, right? So the other person can't discipline your kids. Who? Yeah, like, and then it you depends. know these kids, bro. Nah, it's right. My child don't know like how to make me not like you know what I'm saying. That's yeah. just how this shit yeah. go. Yeah. Kids yeah. some more. They kids are smarter than anybody. Like they don't know how to manipulate. Kids are master manipulators. I just look at it like I think about myself. Like I don't want to whoop no nigga kid. You're so right. ain't no nigga finna whoop my kid. I wouldn't say. So what you gonna just talk to him? Yeah, you Who? for sure not about to whoop my child. They, they run, they oh, bad bro. as hell. They run, they fucking everything. No, I'm a screaming. I'm a screaming, bro. Yeah, don't whoop That's my child. That's when you call no. me. Hey, call, yeah, hey, call me. I'm a screaming. You okay? You boy, the other day. Hey, I'm coming. But over then playing devil's day. advocate, no, you that my removes child. like yeah, nah, if we're telling a nigga like call me, that removes the. That removes the man yeah, that kid out of the man, house. Man, like, nah, but you not about to whoop that. Just playing devil's advocate. That's why I couldn't do it. You, that's like nah, stripping nah, a nigga nah, of nah, his manhood. That's, that's, like, that's, like, that's why we can't do it. That's why we can't do it. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's why that's I couldn't do it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's too much come with that shit. I'm going to be just like Kanye. Like, what going on now? Y'all got to do something. You got to do something. my kid around. Then them little girls and shit. Hell no. I ain't whooping mine. Hell no. Hell no. Nah, but yeah. Damn. I don't think I could do that, you know. And that ain't that ain't. No, I could, I could date her. Like, you got a baby dad, and I could date you, but I can't just be all in. Like, yeah, if yeah, you could nah, just because, date, you just trying to smash. Cause, for real. huh? You just trying to smash for her. If you just trying to date her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you be cool. She might. Yeah, you get a couple hundred here and there too. All that shit, man. <laughs> We, we having this we shit. We got arrangement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I, just, yeah, like, I ain't finna whoop nobody, kid. Yeah, I can't. I don't even want to know your kid though. Damn, I ain't finna whoop no. But kid. see, that's another thing too. I don't like, even want to know your kid. I don't even want to know your kid. Now, if you say, if I'm fucking with you, because I'm not gonna be in a relationship with you. You got kids and baby dads and all this shit going. I'm not gonna do that. But I'm just saying hypothetically, because I ain't even do none of this shit at this point. But hypothetically, <laughs> if, I'm, if, if I'm gonna fuck with you, I fuck with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that means I can fuck with your kids through you. Mm-hmm. If you yeah. need some help, ooh. I ain't trying to build no, I don't know these people. I know you. <laughs> is that wrong? You tell the truth. Nah, you tell the truth. That's wrong? No, I agree. But, but, let me, but let me ask you a question though. So on the flip side, when you got a girl that's dealing with a nigga that got a baby mama, how does that shit supposed to go? What you mean? Like, is this supposed to go the same way? No, because a mother is a woman is more nurturing, so you gotta be nurturing towards anything dealing with a nigga. Mm. Okay. Mm. So I supposed to take as a woman, I supposed to take the nigga with all his kids. And yeah, like I ain't saying what you're supposed to do. I'm, I'm saying kidding. like how a nigga would feel. Yeah, mm. yeah. How the kids would feel. How would your grandma and them do it? Cause my kids ain't gonna do nothing to make me not like you, and they be like, "Why she be looking like that?" But how you gonna grab the fucking grandma? All right, right. no, I just it just to tradition. I'm saying the tradition. How they, they used to do it back then. They they weren't gonna be doing all that. Them folks were gonna lock in, but take I'm your kids saying, straight in. I'm, yes. How a a a woman, the child, right? down, they gonna take your kids, kids so, straight so, in like your dad, so bro. The woman, That's what I'm saying. Basically, big facts theory is. Please correct me if I'm wrong. You're wrong, but go no, ahead. I'm not, because right. that's what you niggas just said. Go ahead. The woman with the child, right? The woman with the child and the baby daddy. I'm saying what I would do. Right. I can't okay. speak for nobody. I ain't saying well, what nobody all, else well, should all do. Y'all agree do what on. you would feel. Okay, because, what, what, what the majority of big facts agreed on. Flip it. Flip what? Flip it and apply it. No, I want that. Flip it and apply it. What? Flip it and apply it. With, with the woman. What you the woman is supposed to do. I was saying if a woman, if if a a woman is trying to lock in. Right. 
we got y'all already just sat there and said, if I got kids, right, right. and I and, and 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 like I'm a what I'm a single parent, what am I? Right, you're a single daddy. I'm a single, uh, I'm a no, single dad. I'm my kids stay like with me. Anything like anything you said, like my kids stay with me. Like the mama, the mama can't be there. Yeah, the mama can't be there. Like none of that. Like all that shit still applies. Even if the kids don't, this is what I feel like y'all personally. Women, so I can't disagree. No, with this, that's what I'm saying. I want. I, I just want to get your take saying, on it. What I'm saying is, bitch, you don't fuck my kids. Fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like I just, I and feel like if you right, my girl and the woman has the but right to be that way too. We doing, we doing, we just doing, what we doing. You don't nobody my kids. Yeah. But I feel like that's mm-hmm. that's why I wanted to Simple. like ask your opinion on the shit because it's like I feel like personal. Go ahead. Does a man value go down if he have kids? I feel like this. I feel like when you're dealing with a nigga with kids, I mean, when a nigga is dealing with a female with kids, it kind of just really, like, depends on how many kids she actually has. Because if she got, like, a whole bunch of kids, niggas ain't really trying to fuck with that. But if she got a little boy, or you know what I'm saying, she might have a little girl or some shit, okay, cool, I can I can deal with this. But when it comes to females... <laughs> Females are a little bit more lenient with the number because most of the times, and correct me if I'm wrong, when niggas have a whole bunch of kids, they're scattered out between different baby mamas and it's not like (laughs) whatever, whatever. And when niggas have kids, it's not like the niggas actually hands on with the kids. It's not like the kids stay with him as opposed to a nigga dealing with a female that has to have the baby 24 seven because she's the mama and the nigga, you know what I'm saying? The kids have to stay with her, whatever, whatever. So... It's not really like the kids are that much of an imposition with a nigga because he doesn't have them all the time. So it's situational. Uh, no, yeah, that was facts. It's situational. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. what that I get. When you me. deal with it, when you deal with a bitch with kids, it's like she got seven. <laughs> or even if she got like one or two, like nigga don't care, bro. you go spend the night. Don't give a fuck. Then you got a nigga like I don't see nigga don't you wake up with a nigga picking in your nose. But just like if you fuck with a nigga with kids, you can go to his crib and ain't fucking sleep all day. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. Ain't type nobody shit. at this time. Yeah, yeah situational. Like, yeah, yeah. Situational. What? You wouldn't deal with a nigga with kids. You wouldn't deal with a nigga with kids. You would date. Cash mean. Yeah, can't. Me and the tail. <laughs> I, yeah, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say that. Oh, you can't deal with a nigga with no kid? Why? She ain't got no kids. Because I love too hard. I feel you on that. No. Mm. Mm. Block and she left. jealous, she gonna be mad at the kids. You gotta go to their birthday party. What the fuck? Exactly. Oh, I yeah, love nah. <laughs> At least you admit it. Now, I respect that. Rather than getting some shit and say that shit yeah. five years later. Damn. Y'all think a nigga can always hit it, baby mama? No. I just said, hey, yes. we've been there. Yes. 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 No. The time yes. is the only no. thing that stands between yes. you and him. No. Yeah. Uh, I have a baby so it, 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 it depends on if you pee or not. We broke out. So okay. If you got a player, baby daddy, you most likely he can. You got a goofy ass baby daddy, he ain't. That's fair. Bitches That's fuck goofies too. That's cap. All right, man. If you don't do some goof ass shit, that one. Yeah, he didn't get across the line. Man, you not going back. But still, these. But it's still like there's still a possibility nah, for that moment of weakness. That's not true. Dang Just being real. I done seen the shit. It. Like that's Again, cat. There are, there are exceptions to every rule. Yeah, like there are exceptions to every rule. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. yeah. some bitches don't fuck with some nigga. Period. Period. Yeah. 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 Do I think I could always fuck my baby mama? Yes. No matter what. That's just any nigga should feel like that. But some of these niggas can't. Some of these niggas don't want to. Mm. Yeah, that's let's true. be real now. Some of these that. niggas don't eat, but who? But I, I got away from that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but there's still a possibility if the proper opportunity presents itself. For sure. Anything. Yeah. That, anything. That, that, that anything. Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, nah, yeah. But I ain't yeah. planning on this. Yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. Like. Anything is possible. Some people, you like, man, I can't even be in the same room. No, <laughs> no. Nah, nah, what you talking about? But, but that's you why. Know you can, <laughs> right. Deep down, yeah. Man. Yeah. You know if you Deep want down to. in your soul. Yeah. You know what to you say. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Turn right, that shit back to what you vote to turn it to. That's it. You know what to say to him. Simply yeah. decline. Oh, no. Big Fast Friday. We're grateful. And uh, the market value is... What, what, what are we determining that about market value? Determining, we zone. determine that to the market zone. value depends on the situation. Yeah, Put it right. on the scale, zone, man. Depends on the situation. The market value is situational. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. However it go, bro. Shit, because you can't say what's value to the next person 
It wasn't. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, so right. No man That's like shopping at the thrift store. People throw away shit and people don't pop um, And right. love it. And, and wear that shit forever. Yeah, yeah those shit. are facts. Yeah. Facts. What we doing, Jake? Shit. What, what's that in? What we doing? How long that is? 40. Let's keep going. We're going to ride out. Hell yeah, let's get it. We got some more stuff on our brain. What okay. What we going to talk about? What's, um, up, what's on your mind, Dave? Man, I got a lot of them. <laughs> man, I'm racing. I'm pulled over here I'm to the top. Just a lot. Too much to unload. Yeah. I can yeah. see. You know what I mean? Pass the bank. What's on your heart? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. I'm grateful. Yeah, grateful. Grateful. Definitely grateful. I'm yeah. grateful right now, man. What's on your mind, Cash? Sad boys? Like it? Shit, I was thinking, Rock? could you, could you pull somebody that don't believe in God? Fuck no. Oh, boy, we need more than 20 minutes for that one, right? <laughs> they don't believe in God. What you mean? Right, like, could you be in a relationship with somebody, like, no matter what your, like, religion is, even if you're not a religious person, you just spiritual, like. You better believe in something. Yeah, but you don't believe, they don't believe in nothing. Like, they completely atheists, like, how you vote them? That, but how do y'all people to mean, each his own, though, bro. But I'm saying, could you? you I don't think too many, mean, like, I don't think too many atheists be involved with people who don't believe in God. I don't know. Who do I believe think in God? be surprised. <laughs> Oh yeah, niggas ain't fucking with niggas. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you know don't believe saying? in God. I think man. they kind of so roll wrong. together. You like, see, love is blind. No, I, I oh, yes, yeah. I seen that. Yeah. I, I understand where you're going. Yeah. But what I'm saying, okay, let's bring it back to this room. Okay. Because that's some different type of people. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If somebody tell you, no, I don't believe in God. I don't know. I don't believe in nothing. And this is your first time sitting down, even right. with them, and they look in your eye like I don't believe in nothing. Everything that happened, I did it. Right. I'm the reason. How you gonna react? How's I'm everybody gonna react? I'm gonna I'm 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 have a conversation with you. Cause yeah, I me know too. More. I want to see what you talking about. Yeah, bro. I want to know more. I'm yeah, not gonna dismiss you. But you know what? Uh, anybody can convince you or something. A nigga, right. Even a liar can convince so you. So you think that that atheist could convince the believer or vice versa? But, hey, look. Saying. Somebody had to convince a nigga who. Uh, it had to be a nigga that once believed that got convinced not to believe. Thank you. Facts. That's true. Facts. That's true. Big facts. That's true. Shit, it had to be. So shit, because I ain't just. Woke up and not believe today. Right. right. I started listening to niggas and damn, that's how that went. That's how that that's how that shit go. Mm. Facts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You right. You got a point. Cause you just talk to believe some shit. Right. Right. And just cause you don't believe in God don't mean he don't believe in you. So how who am I to be sit here and be like, yo, you don't believe yeah, in God? It's just cause a nigga don't believe about, in God. No, but though. The question, the he... question was, can you fuck with them? No. Me personally. I, don't I can't either. Cause the more that's out all I'm saying. saying. Who the hell is that? Yeah, do I want to? But it's people right who, there. It's people who believe in God. No, oh, that's, right there. that's Slim. Okay. That's Slim. Like, oh, that's Slim. Well, hey, that's Slim. Three, what's I don't want to keep talking to nobody that's going to make me kind of believe in nah, that. Because that's what you, you, know what you mean? already believe in what you believe in. And right. you're stuck on that. Right. What I'm saying is a nigga who inquiring about that want right. to hit it. Oh, yeah, right. for sure. If you were inquiring <laughs> and you sit there, then y'all might <laughs> end up being atheists <laughs> together. So that's what I'm saying. in your relationship? Is God a pillar in your relationship? Huh? Is God a pillar in your relationships? Hell yeah. Alright, number one. Because soon as you, soon as some shit happen, you be like, shit, bro, I, I, God kept us together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Because you know it wasn't you. And if they make a joke, they be like, who? You know what I'm saying? Like, So that's going to... That's, that's what an atheist you, you should do. You ain't going to be to do no, that. that. That's what an atheist should do. You ain't going to be to be... If you, if you believe in God, you ain't going to be to be with somebody who, don't who believe heavily in. don't believe in God. Right. You believe in a nigga who kind of like on the fence. Yeah. You know how you got the boat of fish, nigga, like, <laughs> Been through some shit. I don't believe in shit till yeah. goddamn nigga start shooting a plea gun. <laughs> fake is. Yeah, fake is. Yeah, not them kind, but the, the folk who don't believe, they don't believe shit. They don't care. Shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? They on what they on. What they call them? Atheists. Not it's something else. Agnostic. What they believe agnostic. in? Agnostic. They don't believe in nothing at all. No, agnostic. They don't believe in good or bad. Agnostic believes in the spirit. They just don't believe in uh, necessarily like a god. Like what they Jesus. believe in? Them. They believe in the spirit. They believe in spirit science. world. <laughs> That's a Scientologist. Like the Scientologist is some other shit too. Yeah, that is also. So some they believe other everything shit. is. There's a scientific explanation for everything. They That's what a Scientologist. Here, crazy. Which I don't want to throw him down because I think he just tried to clear it up. But that's Will Smith and Jada, ain't it? No, nah, wait. Are they clear that up? Because for a long time they were saying Will and Jada was Scientologists. Yeah. Nah, I think Tom Cruise is though. Tom Cruise, I think he opened yeah. the Scientologist. Yeah. So it's just like when Cat Williams said. So who blessing them nigga then? Well, listen, the Cat Williams said you got to think a Scientologist. If them niggas nigga don't believe in shit, God just look at them niggas as what. I'm saying, what's our explanation for that? Well, for them not, that's why I just told if they you. They don't believe in they still getting all their blessings or whatever they want in life. What, 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 what are they going like? 
You get what I'm trying to say? Like, well, how did that work? Say. But I'm yeah, saying, you can be an atheist and go to heaven. Just because you don't believe in God don't mean you a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's wild, but them niggas saying some bullshit, though, too, about that shit. They like, yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's a bullshit. point, but that's, that's a fairy tale. Yeah, that's that's a black, point, that's what they call it. Black, that's uh, blasphemy. What blasphemy. You blasphemy. Yeah, ain't it? I mean, if you, different people you believe at, different things, Bible, though. I guess, yeah, but what if what if, what if what if you what if that person right. didn't believe in God sixty nine years of their life, and then the last year they start believing? Right, that's my point. So you you can't say. I'm saying, well, if a nigga die like that, where you going? We don't. To wherever happens, that happens. I don't know. So I'm look, saying, but how this, niggas living with these blessings and shit? Because just because you don't believe in them don't mean he don't believe in you. Or just because what you put, like you said, either way, what you put out to the universe, right? Is what you're gonna get back. I understand what I'm saying. Yeah, you see, I understand. Yeah, I guess y'all ain't understand. No, I, I get what you're saying. You like, saying shit that we go by like these morals and shit we live by because of God. Okay. Upon the eye of God. Yeah, like what? What? What the fuck? Like what? What's the disadvantage for a nigga that don't believe in God? There is none. The Scientologists and the people who don't believe in God don't believe in the heaven or hell. And these same people believe. How like, y'all cap, think God cap. feel about that nigga? Though? He don't like that. He correct? Did he create that man? Does that not person? like that. Didn't he create that person? Well, thank you. That's what I'm saying. And he knew what those Oh, so 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 y'all are gonna use the whole that's one of God's children shit. It what is you say it's not. Everybody is saying it's not. Just because I got believe? a glitch, don't mean thank because you. that could be his glitch. A lot of this shit glitched up. All of us. Who created just, bad? I'm saying like, who just created think bad. He created this good and bad. So who created bad? It's a social construct. Yeah, he probably huh? Who created bad? He did to to see if you gonna go for it. Who gonna go for it? That's a fact. Yin and yang. The balance is yourself out. Your life out. See, you going to turn gonna But my turn question or is, is how right? do the people... What you just said? Who created good or bad? Okay, how do the people that gravitate towards the bad still get blessed in the process? That's what we're trying to is understand. Is that blessed? What's blessed? What's blessed? Mm. Well, I know some bad people. How he like, get so how he, blessing how he get so nigga. blessed and he got a hundred million dollars? That man could be Satan. But you can't say what's blessing to another nigga too. No, right? no. It's your values. What do you value? Like you can look at some shit happening to a nigga and feel like he cursed and it could be just taking the good with the bad. Like mm -hmm. shit, this shit come with this shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Real fact. Yes. What's blessed? Like, like so, how you gonna determine another nigga value of his blessings or of of or what he received as good or bad, mm. mm -hmm. yeah. Because if, if if it happened to you, you may be de destroyed by it, or mm -hmm. if it happened to you, you may be half joy by it. But I get this shit and just feel normal because I'm already blessed within myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it what you've been through that make you feel like that though? Who? Mm -hmm. Because like you just I don't said, know. I'm just saying hypothetically. <laughs> hypothetically, <laughs> how can you say what's that's why I think this shit fucked up at for real. Everybody trying to live for what they think they should live for instead of just facts being a birdie. Facts. Go for it. Instead of being a what? No, like free. Mm -hmm. Instead of like, why is you got them trying to like everything we do? And I guess I guess this is where like we do for other people' feelings. Really. Right. Everything in life we do for everybody' feelings. Do shit for your kids' feeling. You do shit for your friends' feeling. You do shit for you. You don't do. You do and don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't do certain shit for your friends' feeling. You don't do certain shit for your wife feeling or your husband or your significant other or whatever. But don't it bring fulfillment though? That's what good life purpose. How? I mean, you you if 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 your kids sitting there and they hungry and you feed them, don't you feel fulfilled? No, nah, no, nah, I ain't saying like like food and shit. I'm just saying like. Material. Shit that you really might want to just say no about, or the shit that you might just want to. I don't want to. I just want to go. I want to go goddamn travel world by my motherfucking self for a year. You're not gonna do that for the feelings of others. Of oh, right, your family and others. But that's what get life purpose yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? When what? you go out on a limb, get what gives your life purpose. What you can do for somebody else, not for yourself. Because if we all live for ourselves, we would like none of the shit that we have around us would be around point, us. That makes you selfish. Yeah, facts. Yeah, makes you selfish. But I see what he's saying though. People sometimes, no. especially people, spend so much time trying to make everybody else happy. That's they what might I'm not have spent I ain't no saying time like humanity making shit. they self happy. Y'all talking about some other shit. I ain't talking about like regular degular shit. Like 
I know I said don't travel the year for it, but she, I should be able to do that. Yeah. Why somebody don't feel some type of way if among my bills paid? If I'm able to get the fuck on for a year, everybody's straight. Who with me? Now, Why wouldn't I want to do it? Because cre- I, I give a fuck if y'all say bank just took a year off on bit fast on us. Right. Why should I give a fuck? Well. If I need this shit for spiritual reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but like but people, we, that's but, how people be hindering we, themselves. But no, we do. But, at, but to a certain extent, you do have to give a fuck because it's affecting the dynamic. We all of the do. Situation. We all do give a fuck. Yeah. I'm saying, but that shit kind of weigh on people too, bro. Yeah. You got, and I think that shit I, take a toll of, you, of a nigga, bro. If you got them, you always get pulled. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Now you taking away of everybody's problem too, though. Mm-hmm. And not taking care of yourself at the same time. Yeah. So is that God telling you to take care of yourself? Like, if you say, I need to leave this bit fashion and go travel the world for a year. You know what I'm saying? You know you need that. Is that God saying you need to go do this? That's what you hear in your head hey, and you follow. Yeah. yeah. But a nigga not do it, though, and just stay here and just do this shit. Yeah. Or do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever just making you just regular in life. Like, what's true happiness? That's what I want to see. Like, what, what the fuck is it? What does it feel like? True happiness doesn't have a definition. Hmm. I think it's up to the person, like what it's makes based the on person that, happy. Yeah, because yeah. some yeah. people would say true happiness is just being around their family. Some people would say true happiness is having money. Some people would say true happiness is bringing somebody from the dead back to life. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on the person and what they been. But through. Nate, but guess what? You just saying that right then because can't no one thing make you give you true happiness forever. Exactly. So That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's undefined. Know, it's you just saying some shit that would make you feel, feel good, it, yeah. at the best. Yes. You get moment. the best how for like mm-hmm. yeah, and even those highs for that moment. Yeah. You come after the moment, them highs die down. Anything. Them dopamine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Well, yeah. But you got some nigga that just happens a motherfucker all the time. You know why though? Because they don't give a fuck. Like my nigga ball here, that nigga happy. That nigga that, don't that nigga care. Be, that nigga don't give a happy. fuck. That nigga don't give no fuck about that. don't give a fuck. That, at all. That's the definition of true happiness, just yeah. not yeah. giving a fuck. Yeah. That don't mean just shitting on everybody, but no. if you really just come to the point where I don't give a fuck what you think about me, what I wear, what I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Nah, I don't, I don't even think that because he give a fuck about that type of shit probably. <laughs> no, I'm saying, but overall, saying? he don't give a fuck. Yeah. If somebody yeah. walked up to him and said, man, you should pull your pants up, bro, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta yeah. get to that don't give a fuck space. It still give a fuck. But sometimes the sense. sometimes that don't give a fuck can be a detriment. Yeah, yeah if it's the times. reckless, if it's the reckless, I don't give a fuck. Um, DUI, but if you don't give a fuck, how could no, it be anything other than he said, he said, DUI? Don't, give a, fuck, don't like, give a fuck. I got I'm the DUI and I'm goddamn harming other people. Don't give a fuck. That's yeah, the yeah, wrong. Don't give a yeah. fuck. I'm talking about the. Everybody wants me to do this this way, that type. Give a fuck. Yeah, you yeah. need to not give a fuck. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and you only really got probably gonna give a fuck. The energy is reciprocated. Like, okay, I give a fuck because they give a, like, like they'll give me the same energy. So yeah. I'll do this for them even if I don't want to do it for them. Mm-hmm. Right. But in general, people back to social media. Why do you give a fuck? Right. Why are you scrolling down all day? Think worry about something you ain't never met. Probably ain't never gonna meet. That shit gonna make you unhappy. That shit tell your skin, but. It's gonna make you unhappy. Who thought of this shit, bro? It's gonna, be a, it's gonna like, make you unhappy. Nigga, take some shit, nigga type some shit you never met for that shit. Tell your motherfucker that flush. you will never meet. Yeah. Be mad as hell. You will never meet this person. All right. Have you that seen shit even know weird, bro. Right? That you shit weird. Depressed. That shit. That's some weird shit, bro. It is. If you sit back and think about that shit, that shit weird, bro. My nigga, my nigga, um, kid. That nigga used to always say, "Got now, bro. <laughs> Y'all still in." Come out of the matrix, matrix. The world of the matrix. Y'all still in. Yeah. They done unplugged me. That's why niggas think I'm retarded. Yeah. And he gone, like. He gone. He come in right now. He gonna got down BJ. Talking about that shit. Like, not no weird shit. Just talking about that matrix shit. Yeah. He said he unplugged. Some people figured it out. He just started to figure it out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. People figure it out. Even all these people not wanting to go to their job, shit, all that shit, they figure it out like, what's this job really about? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck going on around this bitch? <laughs> Some enlightenment. <laughs> it's definitely the age of enlightenment. Yeah. I feel oh, like okay. it's the age of enlightenment. People get smarter. Everybody getting smarter. Everybody getting wise. Everybody getting smarter around here. 
What the fuck going on? Man? Enlightenment. Do you think people are getting smarter or information is just more readily accessible? Yeah, nothing to do with information. I think some, some of that shit is here. I know what you're talking about. Like, information is yeah. available for you yeah. to invest or do whatever the fuck. a lot of people just regurgitating shit. A lot of people just waking up like, hold on. I figured it out. I don't smell right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. right. What am yeah. I doing? It's a lot of people doing this the shit. We're going crazy, man. Like, fucking pandemic. Right out of the pandemic, now we're going to war. The war in the world, like crazy. And they war. got everybody thinking them. Yeah. Huh. They got everybody thinking them. want that PPP money, man. <laughs> want it back. <laughs> got to get the PPP. Day one. Gas price is oh. $10. <laughs> you going to get that back, boy. Yeah, they want that shit back. Yeah. And more of the stories. Be grateful. Yeah. Regardless, if you're enlightened, not enlightened, whatever going on, be grateful. In closing, if appreciate your shit, whatever it is. Show. If your sexual profile is up or down or left or right, be grateful. If you got kids, you don't got kids, be grateful. That's not for real. I fuck with all y'all queens, though, for sure. <laughs> I do. But it's just the way we'll have to do certain shit due to the situation. Bye. <laughs> and then niggas up cap, man. It's the way we gotta do shit. Bro. <laughs> shit bro. Bro, put me in no situation of where I'm at now. Cause these niggas be tripping about their baby mamas and shit. Like the that's the reason way. to be a fuck nigga. Yeah. yeah. Cause I would be. Like who the fuck you think you is? I I got it. I had like now my kid grown, so it is different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. But back then, my kids is kids. I got a reason to be on some bullshit. I don't really want no nigga around my kid. I don't give a fuck who you is. What nigga don't feel like that? Every yeah, little yeah. one. Maybe what nigga don't feel like maybe that? Maybe a deadbeat. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's a nigga who yeah, like, yeah, yeah, nigga don't give a fuck about, about the kid. kid. Right. Right. Like, like, I don't raise my kids all the way up to nine, seven, and three. Who? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. They need to come on with me then, because I ain't going to be the stomach there. So if you have a kid, no matter who it's about, you got to give a fuck about that kid. Yeah, yeah. What, you what you mean? What you mean? I'm just asking. Yeah. Man, that's fuck, man. <laughs> right. Yeah. I I don't, don't, I don't, you need to get off my couch. Question, I was man. with you in the beginning, but you got to go, bro. I'm, I'm <laughs> like, hell no, nah, man. Like, if you, if you, if you, if you was just goddamn in Miami, some shit, you bust some shit, she pregnant, you about, you about to go make sure. You made a kid. Uh, I'm just asking. I ain't finna go be with her. I'm just going to be with her. I ain't going to take it. You might not care about her, but. No, he said shit you, you give a fuck about your kid. Give a fuck about your kid. It's a lot of niggas to do I'm that shit, bro. Switch it up for the nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> you saying if he you ain't say the bait. No. He ain't say the bait. You supposed to give a fuck about your kid. That's yours. Yeah, facts. I agree with you. Nah, you gotta get the fuck off my couch, bro. Like you said, you said. So, what about sending some money? Though? Could you just send the money? Yeah, is that wrong? Just send the money? No, I'm he saying, saying is that wrong. I'm saying, no, he's still trying to say. He's nah, saying he said is that wrong? I'm like, saying some niggas are just sending money, but they ain't in the kid life. That's is that a deadbeat? That's a deadbeat. No, hey, that's, yeah, that's, man, not not supposed to see that. But I was saying, if I'm one of them niggas, if I'm one of them rock star niggas, hold on, hold on, if I'm one of the rock star niggas that had a kid, right? Okay, and goddamn, I'm moving around anyway. I really ain't got time for my other damn kid. Mm-hmm. But goddamn, I'm still sending you ten a month. Yeah, for the rest of their life. But do you know this baby? Yeah. Am I wrong? It's too easy to tap in with your kids. Now you can just no, FaceTime saying, the like, kids. Like, am I wrong? I don't even know you. FaceTime your kids. I don't even kids. know you, though. I'm saying I don't even they, know they, the hoe. I just a slipper. You trick me. Thank you. You trick me. What they got to do with the kids? But slippers count, though. Slippers count. What they got to do with the kids? What they got to do with the kids? Slippers count. I still got to see the kids, though. The kid ain't got nothing to do with that. Do you acknowledge that? My only point is the You still got to see the kids. Okay, cool. But do you acknowledge the child? Because if you acknowledge the child, you just can't be there and you send money. That's you doing. You take care of your That's a deadbeat. No, you take care of your responsibility. A deadbeat is a person that's not acknowledging the child, yeah, not, not doing net, shit. Don't, sh- don't, that I'm ain't saying, my I ain't But at some point in time, I just some tricky. Nah, no at some point, you, you, you gotta see. You gotta see. You gotta see him. Is that a deadbeat? That is a deadbeat because at some point in time, you're gonna have time to see this nigga or this little girl. I don't want. What if I'm like? That's some bullshit, though. Yeah, that's that is bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. I'm trying to say that that's, some that's some bullshit. bullshit. If you saying this is not my child and I'm gonna send you some money, yeah, you on some. Oh no, bullshit. I feel like if it's mine, it's mine anyway. I ain't care about it. It's mine. If it's mine, you just not fuck with it. Y'all gonna have to figure this out. Of seeing it's mine, it's mine. But it's gonna always come around to that if a nigga is. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas have to grow. But I just feel like. 
You got some nigga be feeling like, man, I told you not to have that baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you What about niggas nigga. who feel that's like that? That's a fuck nigga, bitch. I get what I'm saying, but you get what I'm saying. I get exactly what you're saying, bro. That's some bullshit because you're not the one that has to experience the fucking abortion and all that shit. Yeah, for sure. Nah, trust me, bro. Some girls don't want to say the same thing. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I just know niggas. Yeah, yeah. Niggas is bullshit. Me too. I just know how niggas think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying some real shit. That's all I'm just like, I ain't saying no, no, like, I would do it. I'm not even finna do all that anyway for right. me personally and I'm saying I agree with either side of it whatever you did I don't even agree with you <laughs> busting in the bitch right. what I'm saying is do he have a right <laughs> <laughs> do he have a right <laughs> to be mad <laughs> to be upset so let's yeah, let's, let's, let's trick me yeah. 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 oh no you yeah. definitely yeah. Hey. But how- but how did you? Trick. How did you get tricked? Yeah, yeah, how you did you or did you not stick your dick in this no, bitch? Bro. Look, like Drake put no, the hot sauce saying. in the condom. If he didn't do that, she would have been pregnant. He got tricked. Yes, huh? like that. What happened? He put yeah, that, hot sauce. That, that, that the bitch con- went to get the condom out the goddamn bathroom to, to skeet it up in her. Yeah. Yeah. He should have flushed it. Motherfucker taking free. He should have flushed it. Nah, but he. But what I'm saying is, you got tricked. Right. I, put, I took all precaution. Yeah. Yeah, that's different. I think. Now that's some bullshit. I think That's some criminal bullshit. charges should be brought on. Do you women take it? No, she pregnant. Do you agree. take care of that kid? I think criminal charges. Yeah, you got to, but because you, you are you speaking of oh, oh, look, look, look. Yeah, like how that go? Financially, I got something to say real quick. Not trying to get no, off subject. You can't do the baby like that. You can't right. do the baby like that. You can't do the baby. Yeah, overall. Not trying to okay. Not trying to get off subject, but speaking of like criminal charges and shit, I personally feel like criminal charges should be brought against women that falsely accuse niggas of sexual assault and shit like that. For sure. Yeah. Like Definitely. like the girl with Chris Brown and you know what I'm saying, all these people, Definitely. like they need to go under the fucking jail because sure. number one, that's not anything to play about. And when you do play with it, that makes people that really Sesame go through those cares. fucked up situations. Yeah. And, and it turns yeah. like, And it when you do first hear that too. shit, that shit sounds too funny. Yeah. yeah. The accusation of it sounds so funny. fucked up fucked that the nigga up. be damn near guilty. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and and, and, and and it's really hard for niggas that's to come back from that. Right that's now, some though. bullshit. Like, that's some straight that's bullshit. Some, and and it's kind of hard to clean your face up after that shit, like because the niggas just hit the hit when they hit the headline, just say such such accused of sexual ag- whatever accusations, and then you like, damn, yeah, such such don't rape somebody. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Exactly what you gonna say? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And a rapist is like one of the lowest things that you yeah, can yeah, be. Dude. Like the worst is the worst. Also fucks up for the women that has been through this or actually going through it makes you look at yep. or the women, women like, that have been through lies. it yeah, yeah and that want to come out you just so gotta put that shit on scale man like man nigga just this shit just fucked up lifestyle but mother will trick you to trick you into a kid yeah mm. Facts. just think about how fucked up that anything, is though these days niggas trick women into kids too Huh? Yeah, I, yes, I, I don't know. Yeah, they might do. Vice versa. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of niggas like, I'm going to put one in there. I said, but I don't be but with But they be with it. Those <laughs> niggas ain't got A them. nigga talk yourself up to rib yourself up out the rip to do it. Because you just see it like, yeah, I'm nothing next shit. Yeah, yeah. Shit, that fat talking. Like but then that. you get there and then, like, all right, I remember what I said. Like, <laughs> like, then you do it. Post yeah. Clarity, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you rid yourself up to do it. Even when you don't just think about it, just like, I'm gonna have but a baby. A, out. a nigga tricking. How can you trick a female? You can't, bro. You can't. You can't. You can't. Yes, you Wait, you talking about tricking female to get, get pregnant? No. Girl, you nutting her. Y'all the one that nutting her. Only reason how you trick her. her. You this is the trick. Know. Okay. Not all women nothing. believe in like you, abortions and shit like no, that. So this you trick. Trick. No, no, this is the trick. If a nigga tell you, I'm gonna pull it out and then he don't, but he tricked you. But you knew it. But you knew he ain't no pull out type nigga. Ain't no nigga saying he nutted. Right. No nigga. If he can keep going. No nigga. What? I'm just saying, like, what well, she's leave. saying, you treat, you treat yourself you by, 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 you, by letting a nigga fuck you with no fuck. Yeah, yeah. You treat yourself. You yourself. treat yourself. So you you whatever come with that, come with that. We treat each other. No. I'm right, saying, uh, yeah, it's, it's a equal. bitch getting a condom out of trash can trying to skeet it up in herself. Now, that's that shit. That's a fucking trick. That's a trick. That's a fucking That's a con artist. A fucking. But if I hit you raw and you fuck around and get pregnant. I I slip. You yeah. know you know we meet to meet. Man, you gotta take care of your baby now. You know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. stand you on your business. Me, blah, blah. But is a nigga wrong if he got tricked all the way tricked? What's all the How way did we tricked? get all the way tricked? Like the whole just said that. shit. But oh, I, you said if he is he wrong for not taking care of the child. If he wrong, if he if he if he take if he just do but I don't want no dealings with the kid unless she can give me the, what if he say I don't want no dealing with the kid unless she give me the kid. Right. 
That mean he ain't wrong. Hell no. Nah. No. He ain't wrong. No. Hell no. Nah. She played that game. Who the fuck gonna do that? That's nah. my mama. I mean, that's my kid. What the fuck are you talking about? I just had this kid. But if you trick me, I'm just saying, but you trick, trick me into it, but I don't want to deal with you, bitch. Turkey based <laughs> Or yeah. some bullshit. Yeah, that's different. That's that ain't different. really wrong. If you tricked yeah, him with a turkey wrong. baster or some bullshit, that's different. Then. Give me the baby then. Bitch. It's just like you had it. It's just like you don't get shit. I don't want them freaking You just got the baby good, like, like not you. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank a surrogate. You. Yeah. Thank you. You was a surrogate at this point. Yeah. Nah, I ain't being a surrogate. Technically, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can with your blood. You know, send them folks for you to get that swamp. Can't duck that swamp. Yeah, Definitely crazy. can't, that's but crazy. I think that's what I would do if I was tricked into having a kid. Like, yeah, shit, give me the baby then. You ain't trick. Your trick ain't finna work all the way out. Like, y'all finna ball this money. And pay me child support. <laughs> and pay child, yeah. And give me child support. Yeah. Damn. Give me the baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, give me soul custody, whatever you can get him. You get visitation. I ain't saying like you, you, ain't, you can't see the baby, but let me. I'm finna step up as a fuck. We <laughs> 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 don't need you to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Visitations and shit. <laughs> <laughs> got everything. A butler, juggler, and stuff. <laughs> 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 That's the bank. We ain't finna give you nothing. <laughs> that's what nigga. That's where the altercation come in at. <laughs> I done been treat and bamboozled. You want to fit that ball. Man, man. What baby call fit to a hundred a month? No, that shit crazy. So in closing, guys, <laughs> wrap it up. Nah, wrap it up. <laughs> hey, triple w dot big facts. Swallow it. <laughs> big facts pod dot com. It's another big facts Friday. <laughs> Appreciate you tuning in. Salute. 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 You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. <laughs>